Good evening, Cape Ann and the North Shore. Welcome to the Good News Program. My name is Bill Robinson. I'm your host for this evening's program. And we have two very, very special people They're doing part two of this interview. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, I mean, part one was dynamite. So I told you last week, go get Aunt Martha and Uncle Guido. Get them in here because they're going to see something really that's good. They're right. going to hear and see the good news. And that's, that's right. the good news is what what Jesus is doing right. in their lives. That's right. You know, that's what a testimony is, to that's give right. you the short version. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they've had an encounter with God. That's right. They've had an encounter with the living God Amen. through the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. That's right. And Amen. lives change. Yeah. And it's boom, boom, a little bit at a time. He that's said, you right. know, yeah, you're going to take the land a little bit at a time. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Deuteronomy 722, brother. Well, that's you know. right. <laughs> oh, Bill, we feel really blessed to be here. Thanks for having us back. Oh, oh man, I, listen. Right. Listen, the, the thing is, blessed. We're blessed. Yeah. Because we're bringing the message of what God's doing mm -hmm. to yeah. people are saying, whoa, I never yeah. knew that. Uh, I didn't get that. You know? yeah. right. And we said, you know, most people in, in Christian churches today, I feel anyways, right. and I know the phone will come off the hook, uh, have an identity crisis. Yeah. You know, they don't really know who they are. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're not walking in faith. You know, what do you mean by believing? I, listen, I, I get on the next level. That's right. Right. I know. Because right. you saw it in India. Right. He's seen it here, all over. We right. know in our heart we have that experience. That's right. Jimmy, yeah. I, want a, I want the a quick, quick. Gloucester guy. Gloucester guy. Big family. I know. That's big, right. huge family. Related to half the city. Absolutely. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, so I grew up, uh, 28 years old, grew up uh, born and raised in Gloucester, Massachusetts, home of the fishermen. Uh, oldest of five, a strong, strong uh, family upbringing. Uh, go to go to grew up in a Catholic household again. Um, didn't really similar to Chelsea's story. Uh, didn't necessarily have a relationship with God. I go to college to play football. Um, have the the prospect of potentially playing in the NFL one day. Uh, boom! Had to stop playing due to concussions. Knocked me out. And actually, I remember we had a conversation the <laughs> summer before. I had to stop two playing. weeks before. Two weeks, I think, yeah. And I said, you know, you Bill, I was hungry to know something. I knew there was a God. I'd studied every major religion. My freshman year of college, it's halfway, it's off, well, freshman year of college, and I wanted to know who God was. I didn't know who Jesus was. You know, I was very practical, pragmatic, and scientific, if you will. And I was like, Bill, you know, I, I don't know who Jesus is, but I don't know if I'll find him still playing football. The culture, mm. um, the yeah. Division One culture, the, the culture of entertainment, it was it was a challenging one. Not saying that you can't be, because clearly Tim Tebow, he's doing it, and, yeah. and I think Jeremy Lin, who plays for the Knicks, they're doing it, there, but I couldn't. And I was like, Bill, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know who Jesus is, but I'm going to just try to be the best person I can be. Mm. Um, you know, at being a Division One athlete, potentially being an NFL player, and then literally two or three weeks after that conversation, God's like, I want you. Mm. If you don't know me, <laughs> then it doesn't matter what you do. <laughs> you know, you can you can be on TV, you can play on ESPN, you can do whatever, but if you don't know me, that's the most important thing. And I and I received. So my he took you where you were. Yeah. He did. He, he took met you me right there. You know, we studied the, we studied the gospel, the feeding the five thousand. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. there's a couple little stories right in there. Yeah. You know, Andrew, there's five thousand people. Andrew comes back and says, "Hey, there's a kid with a lunch. Mm -hmm. What's he got? He's mm -hmm. got some bread. He's got some fishes." Mm -hmm. Now That's nobody right. gives Andrew any credit, but nobody had a lunch. It's getting dark. The stores are closed, right. and he was able to talk that kid out of the lunch. Mm -hmm. right. But he was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. You know, he was. That's right. Now the second thing is. Jesus took what he was given. Yeah. He didn't make rice and beans. Oh, I like rice and beans. I love rice and uh, beans too. But he made fish and bread. That's yeah. right. So he was giving you something. That's right. And he said, I'll make a build on that. That's right. Amen. That's what he did. Amen. You better preach, Bill. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah, so he took, he, he met me where I was, and he knew exactly. Uh, he knew that I needed that at that point in my life. I think just like you had said, so many Christians have an identity crisis. I did at that moment because yeah. my whole life yeah. I was no, like, no. football, you know, and God's like saying me, but I didn't know what that was like. 
Yeah. You know, relationship with God, Christian healing, that stuff sounded like crazy mystical supernatural stuff. I'm just like, Well, it is. Right, it is, right. <laughs> you know, but, you know, once you have a relationship with God and you know his word, then it kind of it is a framework for understanding it and where it comes from, knowing where the source is, not some random New Age religion kind of stuff. And, mm -hmm. You know, but that I had, to, I had to get there, you know. And so once after I stopped playing football, uh, soon after that, you know, I was having really strong uh, concussion symptoms, I um, that, yeah. you know, and I, I just was trying to, again, I was looking, I was searching. I didn't know who I was and I didn't know what I believed in. I, that was the that was the starting point. I wanted to figure out what I believed in. Why was I here? Who was I? You were you desperate. Know, I was like, yeah, absolutely. That's what happens when you, you know, you know? until I, you know, you gotta be hungry and desperate. I was hungry and mm -hmm. God broke me. Yeah. You know, and for, I don't think he has to break you, but I think some of us need to be broken before we reach you. You got to have a broken and a contrite heart. That's right. That's what he says in yeah. here, right? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You know, so, so you so, did. Yeah, sophomore year, came to know God, um, gave my life to Jesus Christ, and uh, it it was just the beginning of, of of a relationship that changed me forever. And I wasn't perfect, and you know, and soon after that, I had received healing, um, you know, and I graduated. You know, I, I didn't go back to playing football and. I mean, it was an up from from that point on. I teach now, but it was it's been an up and hill battle. You know, I'm, I'm standing, I'm sitting here, not necessarily the most perfect person. He's not after perfection. He's no, he after isn't. a connection. Amen. That's, That's the difference. He's yeah. not after religion. He's right. after a relationship. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, he's not after competency. He's after intimacy. That's mm -hmm. right. When we're intimate, you know, with him, and we get alone and we pray with him every day. Yeah. You know the. My Bible, I got an underline, before the sun comes up, I want you in my oh, presence. Yeah. We don't give him leftovers, we give him the best. Mm -hmm. And when he does, he said, oh, that's my kids. That's right. I'm going to fill right. him with the Holy Ghost. doesn't mean you're, not, right. you're going to go down the road picking tulips. No, that's no. Right. There's going to be yeah. there's going to be trials and tribulations. That's right. Yeah. So that's okay. That's right. That's, you know right. what? You get, To polish a gem, you're going to have some friction. That's right. You, you know? need to refine us. Right. right. Gold and then, you is know, a refinement We live process. by the ocean right here. That's right. You know what? You want to make a... a pearl out of an oyster, you're going to stick some sand in there. That's right. It's going to be a little bit of, you know, really. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> right. So, awesome. okay, so now. Yeah, uh, yeah so, so it was uh, from that point on, when I graduated, um, you know, I'd been healed, but then I took a few more concussions, right? So, so then I had more uh, really extreme kind of uh, symptoms from that and going to every, the best doctors in the, yeah. in the country for, for head trauma. No one was really giving me answers. So we're talking about prevention now and we're seeing more and more kind of information around neurology and neuroscience, but there's not much with re for rehabilitation. So I'm going to the medical professionals and they're saying, Jim, you need to go on disability. You know, the depression that you experience on a day-to-day -day basis, um, you know, the, 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 the headaches, the migraines, the cognitive stuff, we don't really know how to help you, you know, but, but Jesus had an answer, you know, and I think in the, in the midst of God is slowly healing me, you know, I, I, I'm not necessarily, I don't, that's not without struggle or medical issues, but there's peace. There's something about God promises us peace. The, God's presence is, is characterized by peace in the word. You know, God will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him because he's Isaiah 26, 3. Amen. Yeah. And that scripture has is, is very much kind of kept me through the difficult times of waking up. Yeah. I mean, we, live in a, we live in a world where people have real issues. You know, after we get off this camera and we talk, you know, the, the enemy is going to come against us, you know, against our relationships, oh, against yeah. our individual lives. And yeah. um, I don't know how you weather it without Jesus. You can't, mm -hmm. you know, and so so it's really coming to that point where I can't do it without him. You know, God said that this, there's been a series of things in my life up until this point that has really broken me further after those moments in college. Yeah. Um, but I'm in a place now where I've never been happier or healthier. It's not that the storms are not in my life. It's that God's giving me peace throughout the storms and he's given me amen and that's how he gave me an amazing future wife to share with. You know, and i didn't have to assassinate you that's right you did it <laughs> i knew even though it sometimes takes guys i like guess a little bit longer right to come around <laughs> it's but uh it. yeah sorry. it's been she's been a blessing you know we were best friends in college as she said and then uh we had a moment at um we kind of we we weren't we were still friends, but we just weren't as close as we were. And then God brought us back in this last season, and just wow. it's it's been, it's been His love story. You wow. know, I think when the prayers started to change, God, I want a relationship. God, I'm so lonely. Whatever, blah 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 blah. And us trying to me trying to fill um, the place of God with maybe relationships and yeah. saying, you know what, God, you are enough. And right. I whatever you want to do, God, I'm open. And I want to get married to glorify you, not just to. Not to fill my needs, not yeah. to fill my flesh, yeah. mm -hmm. the desires. But when it be, when the prayer changed to that, and then the focus was all on him, then he brought Chelsea into my life in a new capacity, and, and it's been phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really has been unbelievable, as you can see. I can't tell. Can you? <laughs>
you know, <laughs> ready to jump across the table. It just yeah. excitement and joy. So it's been, a, but it's, it has. Not, it's not again. It's not without its challenges. Yeah. Right. This is not. A, you know, yeah. So, but it's been a blessing. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You know what? Um, it's amazing how God, you know, put you together and took time over the years to. Yeah. It, and it's like, you know, it's like, whoa, wait yeah, a minute. Old Testament. So I just read that that promise in Deuteronomy <laughs> yes. thirty nineteen. It says, "You will have a blessing." So you know yeah. what? We'll have Olympic champions here. <laughs> <laughs> why not? Yeah. For the Lord. Why Amen. not? Yeah, it's Jesus why. first, then Olympic. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. So you know, what do you, you know, what do you? What are challenges do you face in your relationship right now? You know, yeah, this, so, I want people to know that. Yeah, they're, so let's, they're let's real. get into it. Right? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so you know, there's a projected image. It's just, we don't talk about relationships enough, and I, and I don't think we have a lot of good examples of it. I think most mm -hmm. of what shapes our ideas about relationships is from the media, mm -hmm. you know, and, and they're often bad examples. But I think what we, what we went to is we went to the Word. Like, what was God's original intent for marriage? Mm -hmm. You know, what was God's original intent for, for this union between two people? Um, we've done a lot of study in scripture, and um, we've talked to a lot of folks who've done it right. You so often hear about things that just, relationships that just don't work, mm -hmm. you know, and, and um, we're not taking this, this journey lightly. This is, this is not just about us, even though it's wonderful and, it, and it's amazing, but it's about God, you know. Uh, well, that scripture, uh, a three, what is that again? Three, a quarter, three strands. A quarter, is three strands is not easily broken, right. you know. The husband, the wife, and God. Yeah. You can't do it without them, you know. And so I think for us, it's trying to live purely. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, that means no sex before marriage. Right. Right. And some yep. people are like, oh my God, you said sex on television. It's true. If you don't <laughs> talk about it here, I mean, you're talking about it at home and you're going to hear about it in the media. On the radio. But it's not, it, yeah, and on the Yeah, that's a, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a God given gift. Right. Mm -hmm. And you know what? The media has twisted it. Yeah. Hollywood has twisted it. Desensitized and they, and, and, yeah. yeah, they desensitize us. And you'd think they invented it. Hello? <laughs> God, God invented it. Right. It's his idea. And it's a marriage. good thing. And it's a beautiful, it's the know, best thing, you know, right. really. And so we're, we're looking forward to it, you know, but not now. <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah, that's, and that's the it. truth. And, and he will bless that. Amen. He you will know? bless it like you wouldn't. Yeah. Wow. And so it's just mm -hmm. being content, and it's, and it's really. Uh, it's that whole blending process, right? So marriage is about blending. The two shall become one, Genesis mm -hmm. chapter 2. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the two will become one flesh. So we literally, you become a new creation with, with, your, with your significant other. That is phenomenal. And so I think how you start is so indicative of how you finish in that journey. So we want to have a strong foundation. So even before we get married, we're praying together daily. You know, mm -hmm. we, in the morning when we wake up, as I'm going to work, um, you know, we call each other. Even when we don't want to. Even when we don't pray. want to. You know, even if maybe yeah. we're kind of, we're agreeing to disagree about something. We pray in the morning. <laughs> we, we send each other. We text each other scripture. We have our own individual time with the Lord. Yeah. And then we, we and I try to very much be a strong spiritual leader. And, amazing. And, you know, and, and, and really just encourage God in her life because I, who am I without him? Right. Right. And even if, you know, so many people think you can do it without, you know, on your, on your values and your attitude. Right. You just, if you will it, it will be done. You know, and maybe that will work for people for a while until they, they hit that point where it's like that attitude thing isn't working. You need the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and you need Jesus Christ. That's the only way. That's why so many relationships are failing and Christians' fa relationships oh, are yeah. failing in marriages as well. But, but we want to, but the ones that are walking, going to church, now, and you don't necessarily need the building, but it's walking with God, a relationship with Jesus. It's in the, re it's in the relationship. They're practicing, they're praying. Uh, daily, those are the ones that are successful, and it's and it's wonderful and amazing. And I'm sure you can probably speak to it yourself after being married for 50, 51 odd Yeah, years, but I never know. really get started like you guys did. Yeah. You know, we were, you know, like you, we grew up in the same uh, religion, and and yeah. um, it was like religion, and it was yeah. like you know, religion becomes like uh, if I can reason it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I can figure it out. Yeah. And it's really Western mindset. Marvel. If I can get the ABCs of this, I can invent it. I can do it. I, right. and, and, and you know what? You go back to Genesis. Yeah. Um, God, the, the lie was this. Then you'll be like God. Wait yeah. a minute. They were already like God. Mm -hmm. They were already like him. Yeah. He spoke to them spirit to spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when, when it was broken, the intellect took over. Mm -hmm. right. So now we got to think things out. we got to yeah. reason them. But right. when you start to walk back with the with the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, it comes back the other way when we accept Jesus into our yeah. lives. And now we listen to the Holy Ghost with yeah. Spirit mm -hmm. through the many ways we said in the last chapter, yeah. how it, you know, last program, how it works. 
And then, so it's back to where it should be. Right. Yeah. And you, you know? can't do it alone, though. I mean, oh, I think can't. the engagement part, we're, we've been blessed and we've, we've sought it out. Mm -hmm. We have really great Christian friends and, and marriages, like yeah. Christian marriages. Yeah. And, and they're not perfect and they have arguments, and, yeah. but God is a foundation. So we go to them, you know, we, and we, you got to look for a church where folk, people are focused on ministering and, and that's something that they care about and they're in the Word and, and the Holy and the Spirit led, you know. And I think mm -hmm. for us, it's surrounding ourselves. So when we go to our accountability partners, when we go to the people that that we check in with they're yeah. not saying forget her you know let's go out and have a drink or you know do x y and z to make yourself feel right. good in the moment they're yeah. saying moving together they're saying i right, move in together here. we don't oh yeah together. no no wanna, yeah. you know even though it would save us money but you know what more than anything we want to be obedient we want god's blessing and favor on our life and on our relationship mm -hmm. he who finds a wife finds a good thing and finds favor with the lord i can't Ooh. tell yeah. you and that's in Proverbs. I forget what chapter. Yeah. I can't tell you the yep. the yeah. favor that I've experienced in my life, and the, uh, the, that both the fruit, the health, the wholeness, just from this engagement process of us just being obedient. And this isn't fake. This isn't something yeah. we've we've looked at other things. We're, we're not doing this because you know we want you know we're just up here and we, we, we enjoy hearing ourselves talk. We're doing this because God has blessed us, and we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Him. That's true. We wouldn't be here as individuals. We wouldn't be here in this relationship, and we and I and we won't be able to be successful in marriage if we don't have them. Yeah. yeah. And what we want, I mean, from this marriage is that um, marriage is just really, you know, talked about Adam and Eve in the garden and how they had that access to Him. Well, in the end, when in His second coming, we'll be reunited with Him again. And our goal really is to display God's love through our relationship. You know, it's mm -hmm. that illustration of how Christ loved the church, how He gave Himself up Amen. for the church. Yeah. Um, and really, Jimmy it really strives to love me as, as Christ loves the church, and that Amen. just That's blows it. my heart away. You know, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You know, he mm -hmm. said, he said, you lay your life down. Mm -hmm. That means like uh, he didn't pick up his slippers yesterday morning. He just pick them up. <laughs> you know, yeah. that's, that, right. that type of stuff. Covering Those him. are little things when you're married. You know, there's a little. Yeah, you no, know, yeah. you just you just you love anyway. So. That's right. You know? It's not I about mean, a feeling. I, we're going on 51 years, and we're Amen. blessed, man. Yes. You know, I mean, we, we, we've had some hard moments here, <laughs> right. you know? Yeah. Difficult, but we grew. Mm -hmm. yeah. We grew. And you know what? Uh, I was reading today, um, if if you're not growing, then you're going backwards. Mm. Right. You know, you got to grow, you know? Yeah. If there's, if there's no growth, there's decay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm, you know, we're going to grow. Yeah. I mean, I look at my wife, you know? Uh, and I look at the pictures, what we look like when we got married. Yeah. And saying, yeah. what happened to you, you know? I said, what happened to you? You know, we <laughs> kid each other. Yeah. I said, you're more beautiful now yeah. than you ever were. Yeah, you know, Tell I mean, yeah. wow, she loves the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm blessed. Yeah. I said, you know, I said the other day, I said, this is the best years of our lives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it really is. Yeah. Um, I got you all to myself. Except I don't have five no kids to yeah. share. <laughs> you know, I, got, I don't yeah. have the grandchildren are too far away. You know, yeah. and but we, you know, we're yeah. just consumed with, with the with the Lord. You know, yeah. and yeah. Uh, yeah. I said, wow, this is this yeah. is fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. you know, I love yeah. it. And it was funny the other night we had a, a meeting at the house. Yeah, and uh, we have a guy visiting us, very prophetic guy. You know, yeah, and. Uh, he said, this is the best years. You're just starting to come into them in front of you, you know? Amen. Wow. Amen. Yeah. And I have a friend down in Rhode Island. Yeah. He's 92 years old. Mm -hmm. He's still going strong. He yeah. said, I'm going with my boots on. Amen. He's a pastor. You got to hear him preach. Really? I mean, I think he's going to have a heart attack every time he opens his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. know? I mean, he, and this guy walks. Yeah. You know, we say he talks the talk. He walks the walk, and he's yeah. 92. Yeah. So when I'm out of here, I'm, I know where I'm going. You yeah. know, I'm going to be forever with Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You know, and when, yeah. you know but when I, when I see, oh, if, yeah. if people could grasp what you're saying yeah. and say, you know, I, I want that. I don't want a little bit. I want the whole nine yards. Mm -hmm. I want the big enchilada, this yeah. big. You know, that's yeah. mine. And to know that God loves you. Oh! You know, that he loves you, that he sent his only son to die for you. Thank God for his mercy and his grace. And yeah. we stand up here saying these are the things we strive for, but we fall short sometimes too. Yeah. yeah. We're not perfect, you know, yeah. but that's why now and you don't have to be. And that's no. why praying and coming to God as individuals and together is so important. Yeah. So you can you continue to stay in His presence and experience that forgiveness and that grace and that mercy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's gonna it's a journey. What do you see? Uh, what do you anticipate the Holy Spirit doing in your lives? You know, I mean, mm -hmm. we talked about this earlier. You know, we yeah. said, yeah. what is your what is your your real mission? Share the vision. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's it's your it's the two of you, your for, family is going to give you. 
Yeah, for us, it's just um, knowing God and making Him known in, mm -hmm. in whatever way God calls us to. But we both actually had this vision that God both placed on our hearts. Separately. Uh, separately. Just... And um, it's a vision that I feel like God gave me a name for it, Haven of Hope. And we're actually at a, a church called mm -hmm. House of Hope Church in Lynn. Um, with well, Pastor Claire Sullivan. <laughs> no, just go, get, what, go ahead. Yeah. Tell us about Pastor Claire Sullivan is our pastor. Yeah, and yeah. She will be on this program later. Amen. Yeah. Amen. She's a great woman of God. And we ministered to um, the homeless, uh, addicted, and um, even right college students, people yeah. like that. But we're all broken in need of a Savior. So, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, we just have this vision of um, just ministering to broken youth. Yeah. Um, we're both teachers now in, in Boston. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. We want to reach out and share God's love yeah. and provide a safe place for them where they can have hope, yeah. where they can just have time to be healed and restored. You know, if you don't give it away, it, it becomes stagnant. Mm. Right. You know, I mean, yeah. you got to give away what you can't keep in order to gain what you can't lose. Mm. Yeah. And if you want to hear that again, you can send your checks and send our way. That's seriously, you yeah. know. Yeah. I mean, you know, we do a, an outreach uh, yeah. for everybody and say, well, the lost, the lonely, the hurting, the abused, the confused, mm -hmm. the wasted, the wounded, and the weary. Right. That's true. We do That's that. Right. Yeah. But we also do it for those that are satisfied, stuck, yeah. Yeah. settled, yeah. and stagnant. It's yeah. true. Yeah. That's right. Which is a lot of people, 95%, yeah. you know, that say, well, I, I'd like yeah. that, but you know, how do I get it? Well, yeah. you know what? We do a breakfast once a yeah. month. And you're going to be welcome. If you go on the website, you'll, you'll see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we reach right. out to everybody. Everyone gets excited. Everyone. It's, yeah. it's, all it is is testimony. We have some yeah. music. Yeah. You know, we have great food. Yeah. Your cousin cooks. Amen. He even wears gloves when he cooks oh, now. Thank you. <laughs> I'm washing hands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's got these, important. He's got these rubber gloves. Yeah, kid, that's, you know? yeah, but, that's um, great. That's great. But if you don't give it away, yeah. you know, it dries up. Yeah. yeah. But when you give it away, I mean... I'm more excited about this program with you than you two guys are excited about coming. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm more excited about the people who are going to watch this yeah. and say, hey, I want a piece of that action. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, want, I want some of what they got. That's yeah. why we do this. That's, that's a testimony. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. that's, you're going to just you're gonna wait and see what the Lord gives you yeah. and take a step at a time. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And it's really important, I think, to know your gifts. To, oh, yeah. you know, and, and to know where God has called you. you know, I don't think I could be a, a show host like you so elegantly do on a <laughs> basis, but I know that. Are you kidding you, you know, me? you got to know what you're doing. Uh, no, see, now, you know? never say that because, yeah. you know, a couple of years from now, you could say, know, this is hey, Jim Eunice Jr., I'm in here. Right, yeah. Yeah. Don't ever yeah, yeah. say yeah. that. No, buddy. I know, I know, no. I know. I think you need to. We know, we very much, we've prayed and we fasted and we feel like God's. God called us out of a church in Boston that we'd been at for years. Yeah. Um, I think in preparation for this new ministry of reaching out, we feel called to reach out to homeless folks who are in and out of lockup and people struggling with addiction. Maybe everyone doesn't necessarily, that would be their ministry, but yeah. we do. And God provided a, a phenomenal church home with an amazing pastor, a phenomenal woman of God. Yeah. And Lynn, First Monroe, Street, First Monroe Street, please check it out in the North Shore. We'd love to have you. Um, what time is the service on service Sunday? 10.30. 10 we would love what to What is that address you. again? Uh, one, one, Monroe one Monroe Street in Lynn, Massachusetts. That's down Central Square? Yeah, it's yep, right, right where the train tracks are, right underneath. And so uh, on the on the second floor, second or third floor mm -hmm. in a building, House of Hope Church. And so we're doing, we're feeding the homeless on Sunday. Sundays and we have recovery groups and we have men, meeting for men and women and it's just growing and we can just you know we've been there for about now we're probably going there for about eight or eight, eight months to a year and we're on the worship team so you know we, we sing on Sundays just praising God and um, I'm sure God will call us into different capacities in that in that church but it's really just being obedient not being impulsive but just praying and waiting on God and moving in that and then maybe someday um, we'll walk out this this vision um, of, of Haven of Hope Church, working with youth uh, who, who, are, who are homeless or kind of in and out of lockup, you mm -hmm. know. And so that's what God's put on our hearts, and it's really just sharing the love of Christ with them. Heal mm -hmm. the brokenhearted. Amen. Yeah. That's yeah. what He says. That's yeah. you know that His job description is in Luke four and Isaiah sixty one. Mm -hmm. He came to heal the brokenhearted, yeah. restore yeah. sight to the blind, yeah, yeah. Amen. clear liberty to the captives. That's mm -hmm. right. You know. Amen. <laughs> Even those who don't know their well, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, I like it in uh, I like I like Isaiah sixty one because when mm -hmm. you keep reading, it's like whoa. Yeah. It it, it expands it yep. more. You know, it's like yep. he's acquainted with sorrow. Though that word means in the Hebrew, it's um, intimately know. He knows your sorrow. He knows what you've gone through, intimately, and um, he cares. That's in Exodus three. 
seven through ten that he cares and he's heard it, you know. And not only that, you know, he, he does. He knows, mm. like you said, intimately. Mm. But the but the thing is, um, he's a spin master. Mm. You know, you go right back to Genesis 50, you know, um, and Joseph tells his brothers, look, it, if this whole thing hadn't happened, mm -hmm. you wouldn't be sitting in front of me That's eating true. all the stuff that I've got for you. That's right. true. God had a plan here, yeah. mm -hmm. and he works it out, you know. Yeah, absolutely. So it's like he's got no clocks, no calendars. That's right. He's got a big picture. That's mm -hmm. right. You know, yeah. and, you know, maybe somebody lives to be yeah. 90 years old, and at the end mm -hmm. they do one thing. Well, well yeah. I just... I mean, this is God. You're going to spend That's eternity right. with him. Yeah. That's right. Ooh, forever. That's, That's not right. a bad deal. Forever. forever Stop right. and think what the word forever means. That's right. That's you know? right. Um, and when you let God into your heart and oh. you just um, fully submit um, and you be, learn to begin to be content with God, there's no greater peace that you can have. There's no, I mean, peace today with, with the economic crisis, with all the kind of issues, relationship, whatever. Folks struggling with all kinds of stuff. When you when you experience God peace and His love, I mean, it's greater than any any high you could ever get, any anything you could ever get. It's it's just phenomenal, mm -hmm. you know. Just when you run to God and you're just with Him, you know. And so we're really excited to to just share that with everybody, you mm -hmm. know. It's just you know it, whether it's you know whether it's alcohol, drugs, or you know crazy relationships or Shopping. money or even yeah. working out in track. You know how you work out and you maybe you do five or six miles and then the endorphins kick in and it's like a high. Yeah. Yeah. You know, burying I mean, yourself in your job and waiting for that promotion. Oh, or whatever, yeah. You yeah. Know, all different you know, kinds of stuff. He takes care of everything if That's we give right. him a chance to do it. And so, you know what? We always do uh, an invitation at the end. And, yeah. and, and these two people have set it right up for you. Mm -hmm. They've told you what Jesus can do in your life. Mm -hmm. That's but right. there is one thing you got to ask them in. That's right. You know, you got to open the door from the and the locks on the inside. The handles on the inside. He's yeah. knocking on the outside, yeah. but the inside of your heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's not interested in your head. Right. He gets in your heart, mm -hmm. then he'll change your head. That's right. You That's know. Right. So, what you need to do is say, mm. you know what? Take a little look at yourself and say, mm. Mm. you know what? I would like some more peace. I'd That's like true. that peace that surpasses all understanding. That's mm. right. How do I get that? Well, you just heard it from from these right. two people. Um, you ask them into your life. That's right. Well, how do I do that? I mean, do I have to, you know, take 18 courses? No. You, right now, you just be honest. Be really sincere and be honest and say, you know what? I have screwed up. I've made a mess of this thing. Yeah. That's you know right. what? Or I haven't quite made a mess, and by the world standards, I'm okay. But in my heart, there's a, there's a click. It's not there. Mm -hmm. So you tell them you're sorry. Yeah. You know, and you say, Jesus, come into my life. Please right. come into my life. I don't know what that's going to look like. Yeah. I feel like I don't understand it. Mm -hmm. But if you do it, he understands. He's going, that's oh, right. my God, the that's door's true. open. I'm yeah. coming. Yeah. And ask him to take over and run the show. And the other thing is, you know what? Stand this there. is the manufacturer's handbook. That's right. Ask him to make you hungry for it. Mm -hmm. That's right. You want to hunger for that Word of God. Because the Word of God feeds the Spirit of God, that's which right. in turn changes your mind. Because right. right. if you start here, you're going to have all the theology degrees in the world, but you ain't going to have them here. That's right. Yeah. Yep. You know, be real. You're not going to, you could start here, put them in here, and up come the screen, and then your emotions become controlled. You know, you, your yeah. will is to please him. Yeah. And the whole thing works like this. Yeah. And it, yeah. it's crazy yeah. because that's the way we're made. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, if you don't do it, you're playing against the house. You're not going to win. Yeah. You know, you're going to lose. That's so fair. you wrap your own words on, on, out there in television land. Amen. And I want to. You take the one closest to my heart, all yeah. right, all right. And we just want to bless you and thank you so much thank for you. coming here and sharing what God's doing in your lives. Thank and you. And out there in television land. Until God next week, God bless you and have a great week. Thank Amen. You. And love.